Mitchell, the tight end out of, out of Virginia Tech. This is one that a lot of people were questioning as t- in terms of like draft pick for Brad Holmes. What was your takeaway from, from him? So there was uh, that was the bummer of not having a pick between 97 and 17. It was like, I want to say it was 80 picks or so that they didn't have a pick. And in that range, all of the tight ends who, and, and the Lions do need, they have a need at their second tight end position. They all kind of went. And that's about the range where, you know, you kind of thought they would all go. Because th- this was a good tight end class. There were some some high upside players. Um, like Trey McBride was is a good player. Uh, Jelani Woods is a, a nice developmental tight end kind of player. But all those guys went. So in the range where you had, where you took Kirby Joseph, between, you know, when you took Kirby Joseph and, and where Mitchell went, a slew of tight ends that you wanted went. Now, Mitchell, I think if Mitchell doesn't tear his ACL and plays a full season at Virginia Tech, there he is not available in round five where they got him. Um, he's an interesting player. He's a really good route runner. He's super fluid. Uh, he he moves a little bit like a bigger, thicker wide receiver. So I think he gives he gives defenders fits as far as the way he moves. We don't have any testing numbers on him because of the ACL, but just from watching him, he's he's difficult to cover. Now you're not getting, you know, you're not going to get a lot of um, yards after the catch with him, and I think he is. I don't know that he's a real sudden player, where like he's super explosive as a route runner kind of things. I don't think he is that. I just think he's smooth and fluid, so he's difficult to cover because he's you know he's bigger. Uh, big body and then smooth and fluid in his routes where he's just he runs like he knows how to get open like a you know a really smooth player um really good hands super natural catching the ball there's yeah there's a ton of instances where you can see him where a and you know the virginia tech offense trust me it did no favors for him at all i mean quarter bad quarterback play um they did scheme a lot of stuff for him to get yards after the catch, kind of like where they would, they would run uh, like play action type slough stuff and run a slant with him, and have everybody else go the other way, and they would scheme it to where, you know, he's running into the secondary with the ball up against safeties, kind of stuff. But um, you know, it's you're not going to get a lot of suddenness, a lot of uh, super sharp precision in his routes. It's just he knows how to get open. He knows he knows how you know how to use his body to get open, and he's really good at catching the football. Um, a lot of one-handed type catches where balls thrown behind him, and he's able to secure it, kind of things. Uh, he he adjusts his body really well. That's where he looks like a receiver. He's able to do a lot of different things to catch the football, he, and so you can see there's a room, there's a place for him. Um, He's a decent blocker. He's a very willing blocker. He's not George Kittle as a blocker where, you know, he's going to just blow dudes off the ball, but he's willing. He's going to put his body. <laughs> Did you catch that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's willing. That was for Spencer. He's yeah, willing. <laughs> he, he wants to be a good blocker. He, he you know, he tries. He's He'll put his body in the right position to be, to, to block all that stuff. It's just, you know, the ACL tear is a problem. I think he'll be ready to go by camp. Uh, he tore his ACL really early. Yeah. And then, and you know, the issues are, is that he's not, he's not super explosive where, where he's, he's going to catch the ball and run away from everybody. It's just, he's, he, he is what he is. And I think he can be a very effective chain moving tight end and a pretty, I think he can grow into um, a reliable player who you can throw the ball to and allow him to get open against, you know, whoever's covering him. It's just, you know, a chain moving type of uh, reliable pass catching tight end who's solid as a number two. Yeah. So he's, he's thick, he's smooth. He's not going to blow dudes off the ball, but he, he's great getting, <laughs> getting his hands on the ball. You know, it sounds, sounds good to me. sounds like the anti Eric Ebron, honestly, that's I, he's great at catching the ball. He's a willing blocker. He's not the most athletic, not sharp routes, but he gets open. He catches the ball and like, we got him late. He's going to be what our third tight end behind obviously Hawk and 
maybe Brock Wright. Maybe he beats out Brock Wright for that second spot. But I think I have more of a role in the offense. I think like uh, I think red zone targets. Because I watched him like those fifty fifty balls. He he, he yeah. snatches them. He I mean, these are times I, I'm wa- I was just watching highlights and watching game tape, but like just snatching the ball out of corner's hands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it'd be yeah, two I mean, of those guys. Yeah, you can see how natural he is at catching the ball. He's really, I mean, he's he's very good at it, yeah. and it's just natural for him. Um, you know, I, I don't know. So I think this is going to be a bit of a red shirt year for him where I wouldn't think that there's a lot in his future in year one, but because, you know, the, the tight end transition is huge from, from college to the NFL, the playbook is huge. When you look at the, all the run designs and, and, you know, the responsibilities and all that stuff. So I wouldn't expect a bunch, but I think, I think, you know, in 2023, he is probably your number two pass catching tight end with some upside as a player, but you know, he's not going to be, um, you know, he's not going to be a 50 catch 700 yard, you know, six touchdown tight end. I don't think that's in in his future. I just think that, you know, he does offer you some intrigue as a pass catcher. It's just, you know, he's capped from a sense of he's really good at getting open. He's smooth and fluid. Uh, there's a lot of like rounding off of his routes kind of stuff where there's not a there's not a lot of sharp breaks and that kind of stuff. But you know, I think he's gonna give you enough that you drafted your tight end too, and there's a need there. They have a need. Give me some ganja. 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 Give me some